Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a video on my top 10 e.l.f. products. I have quite a few e.l.f. products. I will insert it somewhere, I might have inserted it before this, or I might insert it just after. I'm kind of getting used to all the settings with video editing, so you will see it. Um, and as you'll see, I've got quite a few products. I've actually got a lot more. I have had a lot more, but I've probably already thrown them away. I don't use them, so I don't know where I put them. But I'll show you a picture of all the products that I currently do have in my room that I can lay my hands on. Um, if there's anything in there that you would actually like a re review on, let me know. Um, they obviously didn't make it into my top 10, any that I don't talk about, so they're obviously not my favourite, but that's not to say that they're not any good. So please let me know if you want me to talk to you about any other products that I do not mention. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to mention these products in no particular order, so um, I'll just get on with it. So I did actually say in no particular order, but I will mention this product first because it probably is my ultimate favourite. It is the Elf Translucent Mattifying Powder. And inside, this one's a new one, it looks like this. So you've just got the powder and the sponge. Um, I absolutely love this. I've got always got backups, so I've got a few of them. I think I've got another one in my bag. Um, I think there's about £3.50. And I've tried so many powders whether it be MAC or you know, every, all the expensive brands, all the drugstore brands, and this just suits me perfectly. Um, you know, I don't, it doesn't go orange, like I've got very oily skin, so it doesn't mix with the oil and turn it an orangey colour or anything. It's it's really good. I do absolutely love this stuff. Um, I did there, I think, a few months ago, go back to MAC, and that lasted only about a week and I came straight back to this so I know that this is one of my favourite powders um, and because I'm quite fair as well it's quite hard to find a powder that matches me well and doesn't turn me a different colour um, so I highly recommend that product number two is an e.l.f. again from the studio line blusher this one is tickled pink sorry it's a bit dirty um, I change my mind a lot with blushes, um, but of all the e.l.f. blushes, and I have quite a few of them, um, this would be my favourite, and if I come to any, this would be the one I use, and I do like the colour, the colour suits me, um, I don't know if I can get a swatch for you, it's very, very light, no, you can't even really see it, it's kind of there, I'll show you what it looks like inside, Probably comes up a bit lighter on camera than it actually is. But it's a nice kind of dusty pink colour. Um, do recommend it. Easy to blend. Good. I like it. Um, next would be, it's not their makeup, but it's this makeup brush holder. All poured. Sorry. It's the, um, the material it's made of. It's all kind of. <laughs> so it creates a lot of uh, finger marks, but I like it. You know, it's it's quite smart. I love to clean it down, but um, I have a few of them, so it's nice to have them all together. It's quite smart. I do like it, especially when there's some deals on. Elf always have discounts off on their Facebook website. Um, so I do like that. If you're looking for a place to store your brushes, this is quite good. Next thing that I love, which would be number four is the 100 palette. I actually got this free last year on, at Christmas and um, they had a deal on where you spend a certain amount of money and got this free so that was brilliant because I always wanted it. Um, I'll just open it up. That's what it looks like inside. So there's loads of different colours. Um, you know it's got from neutral to bright so you know whatever you need it's there. Um, so when I never know what to go for, I just open this and then see what I fancy. Um, all of them are pretty much brilliant pigmentation. Um, there's some matte, shimmery, so great choice. Always good and handy to have. Um, number one, two, three, four, I'm losing count. Five would be these Elf Therapeutic Conditioning Balms. 
I have a couple of these at the moment because I really do like them. These are the, what colour are they? Strawberry cream. I don't really like the other colours. I think there's kind of purpley ones. Um, I don't know if you can see that guy in there. Um, they're just little pink conditioning balms. They are so soft. Kind of put a little tint of pink to your lips. But absolutely moisturising. Always handy to have on the go because as I've mentioned in other videos, I, I love having my lips moisturised. I love Vaseline, Nivea, Chapstick. Um, so yeah, I think they're only 150 or something like that. Cheap, they're not in the studio range. So it's always handy to have. Tastes nice, very moisturising, recommend. Highly recommend. Um, next would be this eyeshadow in Pebble. Just a single eyeshadow. This is a really, really nice colour. That's probably how it looks. Maybe a bit darker in real life. Um, highly pigmented. Kind of a light. You can put it on lightly. Um, build it up. Just a really nice colour. You can wear it lightly for a day. Build it up for night. Really like that colour. Next, we have the a brush. Is the professional eyeshadow brush it's just from the normal range so it's cheap whether it be 150 I have two of them here and um, they're really great for just packing on color so for the price I just have quite a few of them because I'm not really good with cleaning all the time so I just pack it on um, then when one's dirty I use the other one and then I clean it. so really really good to have and cheap as I say brilliant for just packing on color highly recommend next we have the what are these now lipstick cheerful cherry now i thought that these were from the mineral range but i'm probably wrong i thought that i had some mineral ones too but these are black correct me if i'm wrong i might have it wrong but these are what the lipsticks look like they might be from the studio range um, but the colours are party pink, barely bitten, cheerful cherry. Um, I'll show you the colours. This is party pink. Very nice pink colour. What would you say that? Kind of a light, light to medium pink. Very nice. Then we have cheerful cherry. Sorry, I'm categorising these all under one because they're the same type of lipstick. That's a nice deep red colour. Really like that. Then there is Barely Bitten. Oh, that's quite a nice colour. It's like a lighter pink, or sorry, red. It's kind of got a pen of pink in it too. Love that too. Now where am I? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. We have the Dove Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder, which is, comes like this. Now, I used to use this all the time. I haven't so much recently, but since I've dug, dug it out again, I think I'll probably use it. Um, it's just a really nice um, bronzing powder and a really nice blusher. And they suit me, and I really like them. Highly recommend. Good little duo to have. And finally, Luscious liquid lipstick. Now these are really nice because while I do like lipstick, I'm quite useless because I put them on and my lips feel a bit dry, so then I always take it off and it doesn't last very long. So these are good because they give me colour while conditioning. And they're not too sticky, you know, I really do like them. They're really nice colours. The ones I have here are strawberry, cherry tart, perfect pink. I'm really slick. I'm sure I have more of these, but these are the ones that at the moment as you can see some have been used more than others. The one that I've used the most is strawberry. This gives off a really nice red colour to your lips. It's handy when you're out, just wipe it on, don't really use a mirror. It gives a nice nice red colour. So this is the one that I reach for the most and I've had this a few times. Anyway, so they are my top 10. As I said, um, from the picture that I'm going to insert somewhere in this video, um, let me know if you want to review on any other 
um, product or send me a message and I will get back to you. Um, any other questions about the products that I've reviewed, please let me know, comment below, send me a message and again I will always get back to you. Um, please subscribe um, if you like these kind of videos. I'm going to try and keep up sorry try and keep them up um, and do as many as I can for you and again if you have any requests let me know and I will try my best to help you out.